Our last lab is a continuation of lab 11, so we can do the lab from the folder we created for lab 11. There are only two tasks. Task 3, SQL injection attack on update statements and uh, how to apply the countermeasure with prepared statements. So in the official description, go to task 3. Now let's open the folder we created for lab 11 and bring up those two containers. Open the folder in a new tab for later usage. In the lab setup, DC up. Okay, the two the two containers are brought up. Open a new tab, find their uh, container ID. Let's open a shell into the web server container as well as the uh, database container. This one is a website container. Right, we have the SQL injection folder over there. Then we open a shell into this uh, database container. Okay, for this uh, database container, let's uh, open the console or my MySQL user root password DES. Show databases. We know the database is this one. tables we have only one table right? uh, select everything from this table okay these are the records saved in the database so it's a simple web application to demonstrate what's the practice SQL injection attack And you see this one, the password is a uh, hash code. You can find the hash code algorithm is shown one in the source code. That is a good way we can use describe. Describe this database credential. Right, to see these fields. Okay, now we can uh, open the server. C-server.com We have practiced in our last lab. When you log in, 
for example, Alice. You will see uh, her profile. There is a function, edit profile. You can uh, edit uh, her profile. Salary is determined by the company, so she cannot edit uh, her salary. For example, she may uh, edit uh, her nickname, email, address, and phone number, those information in this uh, profile as uh, yeah, the nickname and say Alex the Great email Alex at gmail.com address Cover phone number password. She must provide her password. Is seed Alice. Certainly she can change her password. I think that this one is the new password you you need to uh, supply. For example, let's just type Alice. We know the default password is seed Alice, right? So we save it. And you see the updated record right? phone number, address, email, nickname, everything is uh, updated. You can uh, verify also verify inside. The MySQL console. Here you check Alice. Right. See the phone number, Gmail, email address, and uh, location. Now let's check the source code. There is a vulnerability in the source code. In this image, www. The source code here. Is unsafe uh, at backend. You can see the description here. The PHP code implemented in this uh, unsafe at backend.php. So then you can see it from here. Right? We would like to see from the source code here. Uh, you scroll down, start of a session, get the parameters, submit from the browser, email, nickname, address, password, phone number. Then we create a database connection with this function, getDB. After that, check the password. You see the password is not saved as a uh, plain text. It's converted to SHA-1 hash code. Now the SQL statements, there are three lines. Let me see how many lines. I think it's uh, wrapped back automatically. It's just, uh, it's just uh, one line. OK, let's see, it's three lines. Three lines. Here's the first line, update credential set. As we discussed uh, in, during the lecture, it uh, layout like this is very important for the attack. Here, set these uh, fields, nickname, email, address, password, phone number. Well, ID equals the supplied ID. Else, if the password is empty, if it's empty, you do this. Uh, this update.
usually if the password is empty, we would like to You see the password is not set up here if the password field is empty. This is a, a by default is a good design. If password is supplied, then you also update the password. Then you will use query to execute the SQL statements, close it. As we discussed, uh, we may would like to uh, echo this uh, SQL statement to see what it looks like on the website. What the SQL statement is constructed here, you can echo it here. Echo the SQL statement constructed or processed on the server side. Save it. We need to copy this file to the container into the container. Here it is. And save edit uh, backend and this uh, folder. So we can go inside that folder. Copy this location. The source code is and uh, here we need to go to the source code CD image www CD code. What code is here? We just updated this one. Docker copy this uh, and save edit backend in the web server container oops Okay, now it's updated. We can check it here. This one is the one we used in our lab. Lab 11, right? Select ID and you see these things. And where is this? Is the code for this one? Is unsafe home, so we can also edit uh, unsafe home to comment that out. Because once we edit this profile, we submit. Those edit, submit that form, it will uh, automatically jump to this uh, web page. And this web page, it will use this SQL statement to get the updated information. So, in order to see the SQL statements construct from here. Let's uh, comment out this one and save home .php. This is not required. It's just used to show you how it worked on the server and why the injection attack succeed. Right. Here is where we show the C SQL statements. So you may comment out this sentence. This 
This file is called unsafe home dot php. Unsafe home in the container here. Oh, in the container is here. Right? It's in the same folder as this unsafe at the backend dot php. So we can copy that from and save home. Now if we re refresh, we will not be able to see the SQL statements. Here we just save it. Okay, after we saved, nothing will pop up. Let's refresh and save home. So this unsave home, we uh, copy into the target folder. Some mistake happened. I only commented out this one. Right? The reason is here, the motor query we add it in our lab uh, 11. So we need to uh, remove it. Going to save it. The doc copy, copy it again. Refresh. Now you see the result and you didn't see that uh, single statement. Now add profile. So we save it. If you come back to the uh, home page, so how could we uh, pass that single statement? You will need some knowledge uh, from PHP programming. If you want to pass information from one web page to another web page, how could we do that? We want to pass from this unsafe at the back end of PHP to this unsafe home of PHP. We know for this website there is a session, see session start, and you, we can save those information in the session. Right? Session, you can save it in a session variable. Yeah, let's uh, have a try. This out of scope of this uh, course is not required. We want to uh, save this SQL statement here. Use a session variable. Here we have a session one. Paste here, let's say this is the profile SQL statements. We save this one, save the SQL statements. Then we can get this one from the unsafe home.php. We can show it from here. Actually, we can show it uh, any place. I just put it here for convenience. Uh, let's do it like this. Since it's updated, we need to copy this tool. And save home dot php and that and save at the back end. Please pay attention this is not required. Uh, 
add profile, save it. Now you see these statements, right? What the statement looks like? Update credentials three lines. Where ID x one. Now for the attack. Here we want Alice want to uh, modify her salary, and uh, she know the salaries are stored in a column called a salary. So this is a prerequisite in the real world. You may not be able to guess what the name it is. So I mean, since it's open source, right? for the open source uh, web application, you may check its source code. Here we checked it inside. This is my SQL console. You see the salary here from the description salary. Now, how do you attack? When you set, set several uh, fields, you separate them with a common. And as a normal user, Alice cannot update her salary, but uh, she can use injection attack since she already know the statement. So she can use the update profile of this profile is that profile is uh, I need to scroll up you hide behind this uh, statements so maybe we need to put it uh, at the end put this update credential at the end of this place So this echo profile six statements I put it at the end. At the end of the table. Since it's a self code, we need to enclose like this. Just like this uh, table, we enclose. You can see it's stopped. PHP. By default, it will be recognized as PHP because the extension is uh, PHP. Maybe PHP. Let's just add it. Here it shows the copyright. Here, the copyright is here. And we want to put in front of copyright. Again, we need to. Uh, Copy this one, oops, is inside here. And save home. Now, if we refresh it, the sermon comes here, and we can click edit profile. Now, she want to. Uh, Modify her salary. So based on that statement, we just saw it. The statement. She can uh, update the credential, stat, nickname, email. So we can put all those information in nickname, right? And this is where ID. Input Employment employee ID here is one ten thousand, but this ID is one. So this ID is not the employee uh, ID. 
So you wonder how could we get this ID? This ID is saved in the session variable. You can check the source code to see it. And save home. That ID we scroll up to see that statements. Is a uh, at the back end. The session password. The session ID. Right? It's saved in the in the session. Okay, now we can do that now. Add profile. We only need this uh, nickname. You see the nickname is at the beginning of that statement. Yes. You can also check here. That nickname is the uh, first one, so you can add a comment to comment out or others. We know it is in three lines. Oops. See? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, they're on the same line. So if you add a comment here, they will be commented out. So let's have a try. First, we need a single quote to end this address. For other fields, you can use a comma. A salary equals, for example, 9999999. Then you add a pound key to comment out other part. You can see her current salary. Her current salary is uh, ten thousand. Now she changes to uh, maybe we change it to one hundred thousand. Right, change it like this. If you change from nine 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 nine, it's uh, two rubber wheels. Right? right now, let's save it, and you see her salary is changing to one hundred thousand. We can see the statements why it worked. Update credential set. Please pay attention. All these are on a single line. And here, all others are commented out. All other fields where at the X one. So this is how Alice changed her salary, and why it works is based on the server side. The SQL statement is constructed like this way. This subtask uh, three point one, which I did it, and subtask three point two, modify other people's salary and modify other people's password in subtask three point three. And uh, Bobby is the boss. So she want to uh, modify her boss's salary to one dollar and a password to some other password. And we already know those passwords are saved as show one hash code. So with the same uh, techniques now, she need to supply how could she uh, supply the ID? This ID equals one, right? We need to solve this problem. How do we comment out this uh, where ID equals one? And she only know, uh, let's say, let's have a look, she only know Bobby's the name. Not, she does not know Bobby's uh, ID, right? 
Now the challenge here is uh, how do we uh, construct a condition? Certainly she cannot log in Bobby's account. You think you may think we can use uh, the techniques in uh, Lab Eleven, right? To log in as Bobby into Bobby's account. If we cannot log into Bob's account, okay. Alice can only uh, modify from here. Or add add uh, her profile. How could she uh, do that? Because she need to uh, set a condition to Bobby. And she only know Bob's name is Bobby. When we check the source code here, hence three lines. How could we? Uh, Get rid of this part. Let's have a try. And a salary, she want to uh, change uh, Bobby's salary to one dollar. Now, could we add uh, that condition here? Where name equals Bobby, huh? You will do it like this and uh, comment out other parts. We can have a try, save it. Alice submit that uh, statement from her profile. Now here you see all other parts are uh, coming out. Here where ID equals uh, Bobby. Do you think uh, this where ID equals one is also coming out? We can verify in, in the console. Now you see uh, all the name are uh, changed to Alice. Alice, Alice, oops. Not all the name. Here you see everyone was this field. Field is name, right? Here is a nickname. Nickname is Alice. Everyone's nickname is changed to Alice. And you can see Bobby's salary is changed to one. So which means uh, this whole thing is commented out. However, she changed uh, everyone's nickname to Alice. This is a mistake for the attack. So she may uh, just set nickname to uh, to Bobby. She want to uh, just uh, attack Bobby. But some others uh, nickname also changed. For example, Dwayne's nickname is also changed to Alice. Sam's nickname is also changed to Alice. Right, we when we compare with this one. Bobby no nickname, Ryan no nickname, Sam no nickname. And uh, 
everyone else's uh, salary also changed to 10,000. So this attack is not a good attack. Everyone else. Uh, uh, so which means this uh, where name equals Bobby. Bobby's salary is modified. How could this nickname uh, slick into others? And we know this one was uh, satisfied, right? So we wonder why this one uh, slick into all others. Can you find the problem? It is stick to uh, all others, which means uh, this uh, condition is not satisfied. But we see Bob's salary is changed to one, which means this condition uh, this condition is satisfied. Okay, this is uh, quite weird. I need to have a look uh, later. Now, Alice want to uh, modify uh, Bobby's password. So let's say she want to modify Bob's password again with this uh, edge profile interface here. So she can do the same thing, right? Well, name X Bobby. Now this time she changed the password. Again, she need to know the field name. The field name is password here. So she can change this one password. Since the password is saved as a short code, so she needs to type short one. With a password, for example, one, two, three. Change it like this. Uh, name equals Bobby and uh, comment out uh, everything else. Let's do it like this. The nickname was empty. And just a single code. We know this single code is used to pair the single code Added by the server script. So we construct uh, like this. Only change the password. We are name equals Bobby and a comment out. Everything else. So we save it. Okay, you see the statements. Nickname is cleaned. Password. Here, show one, one, two, three. Name equals Bobby. Everything else is coming out. So we can uh, verify here from this uh, console. Copy noun. This is uh, his new password. You can verify in a terminal window. For example, let's 
from here. You can use a uh, echo dash n. And let's change the Bobby's password to one two three. Huh? Show one son. You see this one. And the one I copied uh, from the MySQL console, paste here for comparison. This is uh, exactly the same. So now, let's uh, try to log in into Bobby's profile. First, see log out, and choose Bobby with the password one two three. And you see, you see. Bobby's profile, which means Bobby's password, he is changed by this now. And when you check the check this table here, Alice, Alice, everyone's uh, nickname. Is Alice, but Bobby's nickname is uh, removed. So, which means maybe I, I add Alice uh, just accidentally somewhere. So, only Bobby is modified, right? which means this statement, he, he, that statement only uh, modify Bobby's, Bobby's profile. So let's log out. So which means our attack uh, worked as intended. Alice's password is changed. Her password is changed into Alice. Okay, maybe this uh, Alice is uh, uh, accidentally modified somewhere. The statements we construct here, it works as it intended. Okay, we completed uh, task 3, modify Alice's own salary and uh, Bobby's salary, Bobby's password. Now, how do we apply a quantum measure in task 4? With prepared statements. In C, the 1.0, you need to apply the quantum measure to against all the attacks you practice in task 1, 2, and 3. In this C, the 2.0 is simplified. You only need to uh, Apply counter measure in a simple uh, version. This simple version is on uh, this place on this defense folder here. You need to find like this defense. Let's lock out uh, this tab here defense. And under that defense folder. Actually, you can see it in this uh, container, server container. Right, you see that defense folder here. Okay, ls defense. In this defense folder, you have only uh, four files. And this, that is an index.html will be accessed automatically. So you type defense or defense index.html, you get the same result. Here is the test. Then you can type Alice. Password is Alice. Right? Get a user info. Then you see uh, Alice's information returned from the database. It uses the same database as that, uh, that one we used for task 1 to 3. But the web application is simplified. It uh, contains only two PHP files. Get info.php and unsafe.php. 
can open it from here in this uh, lab setup called defense uh, open this tool this is get info.php the first line include once include this unsafe.php then show the contents show the information got and then see this id actually is uh, got from this unsafe.php here is the unsafe.php connect to the database construct the SQL statements and execute it we know this one has vulnerability And now we are asked to use prepare statements to repair this. So here is, is, is a select statements, right? Here is select username and password, which means you can attack with the techniques you practiced in in task one. For example, uh, Bobby, you don't need his password. How do you do that? You use a uh, comment, right? Comment out that condition like this. No password is sub supplied. Get user info. Right? Get Bobby's information, which means it suffers the SQL in injection attack. It has a vulnerability inside this code. So we need to uh, fix this one. Fix this vulnerability with prepare statements. Here, yeah, prepare statements. You scroll down to see how do you uh, construct the prepare statements. This is a vulnerable version. You rewrite it in uh, prepare statements. Here, these uh, statements you use uh, con prepare select name, local, gender, from user table, where id equals and password equals we bend this uh, data to the parameter with the placeholder here and bend it later here is just an example so we need to uh, refer to this example and uh, modify ours this is uh, our statements can comment on this one comment on this part now we want to construct ours follow this one Uh, statement you can use any available name. There's a com. There's a connection. The com, right? Is com. Prepare. Select. So, what do we need to select? We select these things. So, actually, we just copy this one. Copy it and paste here. So please pay attention, don't make mistake here. Now the input name replace with a placeholder question mark and the hash password one with a uh, question mark then we bend 
parameters to the query. Statement band prime. Then the username and the password they are strings, so we use WSSS, which means name is a string, password is a string. And we want to bind this uh, name and password. Name and password is this one. It's primary name. Input name and this uh, hashed password. Then execute it. And ban the result. Now what are the re result we want to the variable we, we need here ID name EID salary and SSN right? band these things here the fetch on the first row fetch first row how about our prepared statement Name, EID, salary, social security number, then we fetch it. You may check uh, my SQL API document to see do we need uh, something like this fetch a soak and uh, first check the number of rows. Here we just suppose that one row is returned. After that, we close it. Okay, these are unsafe. We already make it safe. You may change the name to safe, but uh, I will leave it just uh, leave it as unsafe modified inside. If you change it to safe, you also need to modify related uh, code. For example, this get info.php. We need to change this one to safe.php. So I don't want to change anything else. So just leave the name and unsafe.php. Now this time we, we need to copy into the defense folder. Defense inside the container. So you need to copy this one. This location. In the code we need to cd to defense. The talk uh, copy this unsafe.php into the container and the uh, defense folder. Okay, it's copied there. First, uh, you may log in to Bobby. We already know Bobby's password is 123. Right? To see whether it worked uh, as normally. It works uh, normally. You get uh, Bobby's uh, ID name and so on. 
Now we want to see whether the attack worked or not. See the attack. Right? Get user info. You see nothing you got, which means the attack failed. You get nothing. This is because uh, we use these prepared statements. Now, the data is only uh, explained as data, even though we have code inside this input username. That is a single quote, right? a special character. But now this is on, it's, uh, explained as data. So which means this uh, has killed failed brand result, no result. So we succeed we successfully applied the code measure with the prepared sermons and uh, defeat the secret injection. You can also try Alice. And get nothing. So you need to supply or login normally. Alice's password is Alice. Right? In, in, you can only work the, in the normal case. You cannot uh, launch SQL injection attack anymore.